Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL Evo 2. Here today on the channel, we're back with episode 2 of my Hawks career series. First up here today, we're going to be starting off round 7 against the Western Bulldogs. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series. And players you would like me to bring in in trade in the next trade window. We currently sit in second, just behind Collingwood. If you haven't gone and watched the last episode, highly recommend you do. We had some crazy matches there. A last minute defeat to Collingwood. We've managed to beat the Lions, Fremantle, West Coast, and who else did we beat? Geelong, yeah, in quite quick succession. Just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support on the first episode. If you want to see more of this AFL career series and, and future series, support it, and I'll do more. All right, let's get stuck into the doggies. They've got their newly signed man, Adam Trelaw. Curious to see how well he's going to perform in this one. I've changed up the kit as well. We'll go with the Clash one. Jonathan Seglar to O'Meara. Sicily, good mark. Trying to bring it out from the back. Oh, can't get it away from the doggies. That's a terrible handball. When we've basically squared it to them. Quick. Oh. And of course, it's Adam Trelaw, the former Collingwood man, to start off the scoring for the doggies. They lead. The dog's trying to bring it out from the back. Good mark on there by Phillips. To Mitchell Lewis. Oh, we found Big Mitch. Lewis. Cool, calm and collected. Puts his laces through it. Brings it back just before second quarter. Still really close here down at Docklands. Uh, O'Brien. MP, can he get to it? It's been spoiled. Trying to push it towards Hawks' forward 50. Sicily gets tackled. Burgoyne. Oh, that's a high. I wonder if the 38-year-old can try and slot this one. With a drop punt. He's quite far out, so he might not be able to do her. Sean. Oh, no way. He's kicked it. <laughs> you forget how many seasons this bloke has played. He's been playing since, like, 2000. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy. Great. Great goal there by the veteran. Puts the Hawks in front. Ball up here. Segla wins it. O'Meara. No opportunity on John. Mc oh, high tackle there. Daniel Howe. Second quarter now. Kicks the goal from the set shot. Sensational scenes. Hawks continue to lead. That's something special. I actually don't mind this kit. It looks a little bit too close to maybe a, a Richmond kit. But I thought it'd be a little bit too much of a clash. I wanted to mix things up. Jack trying to get to it. Uh, tries to shug him out of the way, but it's no prior opportunity on Eastwood. Est yeah, Eston Wood. Eastwood, I thought I read it as. Tim Mitchell, though, spills it. Free in the forward 50. Quickly gets it off with the run of play. Tom Mitchell from midfield. We are cruising away here against the Doggies. They haven't been playing well. But they still won four in their last five. High tackle there, Mitchell Lewis. The full forward getting stuck into it. That's not really a job. Oh, good interception there by Chad Wingard. Trying to bring it forward. Can O'Brien get to it? It spills. Hang on. It's a goal. It's going to allow to dribble through there. Oh, and that's probably game, set, match there by Chad Wingard. Hawks lead, 32 points. Bulldogs trying to maintain possession. They can't. It's been spilt. Good clearance there. Trying to find Jack Gunston. Shrugs him out the way. Good mark. By the half forward. 
quickly tries to release it to the top of the square. O'Brien with the diving grab. What has he got? Glue on his hands with that type of mark? And there's no shadow of a doubt that Tim O'Brien is going to miss that one. Set, it's his first of the match. Bulldogs holding possession in midfield. Good pass, handball off. And it's a good mark there by Lockie Hunter. He's going to try and hit this one, I think. Or he might try and drive it to the top of the square. Looks like he's, he fancies himself for it. Hunter goes for goal. It's a good kick. And it's a goal there by Lockie Hunter. The Bulldogs, three minutes, get their second goal of the match. I don't know why you're celebrating, mate. You're bloody losing. And we've managed to absolutely blow the Western Bulldogs out of the water here. A really good start to the season. We're still continuing on our main objective of either trying to win the minor premiership or the premiership. If we don't make top five, I will consider this uh, series a failure. So we've won there by 18 points. And so far... My popularity is 58%. Now we face North Melbourne, who are in fourth. So the Demons are now first. We've slipped down to three with a game in hand. Kangas have won four in their last five. Geelong fifth. Suns sixth. The Dogs seventh. Lions eighth. Here is the full extended table there. All right. Let's get stuck in North Melbourne. This is at Marvel Stadium. I thought it might have been down in Tassie, but that's all right. They usually play there quite a bit, these two teams. All right, let's get stuck in North Melbourne. Fortunately for me, they don't have the likes of Big Ben Brown up front. Still got Goldstein and Higgins, the own Simpkin. Got to watch out for them. But we're coming off a good win against the Dogs. Down at Marvel Stadium. Hopefully we can continue on our winning ways here against the Kangas. Jonathan Seglar with the ball up. Oh, hang on. How is that a deliberate out of bounds? Uh, you might be able to snap this one, Luke. I'm going to try it. I'm not the best at snaps, but... We'll go for it. Yeah, we're better off going for the snap. Luke Bruce. For the first goal. For Hawthorne. Oh, looking to bend it. He bends it brilliantly as well. Luke Bruce. Arguably him and Gunston. Are the best two kickers in the team. Good mark there by Cousins. Kangas can't get it out. Mitchell Lewis. It gets spilt. Good quick snap there. Oh, it's Harry once again. Never fear. Harry is here. <laughs> Two goals for the Hawks. Oh, good football there by the Roos. North Melbourne. Oh, I think it was Goldstein, was it? Yeah, it was. Todd bombs it to the top of the square. Unfortunately, there was no one there. They managed to bring back a goal, North Melbourne. Oh, and the Ruse have kicked two back to back. Mason Wood there. We can't allow them to get back into this one. Hawks not having the best. Second quarter here. Sloppy midfield possession. Another good mark there by North Melbourne. A real opportunity to go in at half time with the lead. North Melbourne. No, it's a good kick as well. Nick Larky. Kangaroos lead. Hawks. Trying to just get back on the ball. No prior opportunity. Ball up. McAvoy wins it. Warple. Oh, it's a good mark by Liam Shields. I think this is our first time kicking with him. 
I hope he's a right footer. I'm assuming he is. <coughs> he, he whipped it to the left, but it's a goal. We'll take that. Really close this match. I thought the Doggies would have put up a better performance than North Melbourne, to be honest. We only lead by three. Trying to get it into midfield. Spilled again. Hawks. Handball it forward. Cousins. Oh, it's Jack Gunston to pick it up, actually. He goes for goal straight away with the running play. Outstanding kicking from Jack. Shields off the interchange with a set shot. He's kicked one prior. Can he get his second? Shields steps up. Oh, and of course he does. Puts his laces through it. Cool, calm and collected. And gives us a bit, a bit more of a better cushion. Fantastic goal there by Liam. North. Playing it to the wings. That's touched, but whatever. Oh, we're just getting outplayed here. No, oh, no. Look, Bruce with a really good interception. They... They kicked, they kicked, oh my god. Hang on, wing guard, tackle. They were just like threading it around us. Pinpoint accuracy with their kicking. That's high. But we've managed to maybe squeeze ourselves in front here. James Cousins steps up, no wind, drop punt. Oh, okay, I think we've got this one. <laughs> we've managed to stop them running through us in the death. Another good mark there by Luke Brest, having a fantastic second quarter, for, uh, final quarter for us. And it's Harry again with another mark. To put us away without a shadow of a doubt, Hawks win here today. That's probably the last kick of the match and goal. Looks like we're victorious against the Roos. They played a really, really good match. Unfortunately, they couldn't come out on top. So, two wins back-to-back -back in this episode. And, look, top five, top eight is still definitely on. But the way we're playing and the way we're winning, we might be able to get the minor premiership. How fantastic would that be? But the ruse came to parlay. Just not good enough. All right, who have we got up next? The Swans who are sitting in 14th. So we sit in first now, followed by the Demons. Even with that defeat, the Roos sit in third. Collingwood fourth. We're going to be facing our former player, Buddy Franklin. The Swans sit in 14th. We're currently first, leading the pack by 24 points. Uh, we're still just ahead against the Demons and the Roos as well. But it should be a good matchup here today. If I had to sort of quickly analyze the team, I think our system's really good. Our defense and spot kicking is a little bit suspect. I think my midfield's great. Like, getting the ball out, we're just really, we're doing really well. Like, a couple seasons, this will be a consistent winning premiership team, I think. We just need more senior players. Everyone just needs to go up in stats a bit. So we're coming up against Sydney Swans. It is pouring down with rain. Uh, Josh Kennedy making up the forward line. But the Swans, really good team. I think now they're the most supported team in the country. If not, they've got a lot, a lot of members. And Buddy Franklin is now facing his former side. Ball up. Last time he played in the rain, we didn't have the best of performance there. MP, good tackle on Buddy Franklin, but he gets spilled out for the Swans in the forward 50 now. First real opportunity for the match, and it's the Sydney Swans with Sam Reid to make it one goal to nil just before the 17th. Far out. Swans looking to go again. Frost with a good interception, but it's been spilt. No opportunity on Buddy. Ball up. McAvoy spills it to Jack. Can't... Come on, Sydney is still maintaining possession. Top of the square. Oh my God, where's he pulled that one out from? Sydney, score two in quite quick succession. I do have auto interchange on. Um, I actually quite like that feature. Obviously in football, I feel like you need to, you only get, like in soccer, you only need to 
you only have three substitutions, so you have to be quite meticulous on who you bring on, but you have un unlimited in AFL, essentially, so... You can leave that auto when players get exhausted. You don't have to micromanage it so much. Hardwick, can't win it, spills for the Swans, and it's another goal. Callum Sinclair this time. Swans kick three back to back. Really good goal there by them as well. Man, we just can't play in the rain. This quick snappy football, we just get absolutely run down. Jack to Wingard. That's a really, really good mark by Chad. Plays it quick. Oh, I didn't think he could... <laughs> I didn't think he could hit a set shot there. So I played it quick and it somehow managed to sneak over the top of the back. Really good goal there by Chad. Come on, Hawks trying to get back into this match. O'Brien, big hands. Needs to kick this one. Cool, calm and collected. O'Brien. O'Brien scores. <sighs> Second half. Going all way for the Hawks. Slowly but surely getting back into this match. The rain is just so difficult on Evo. Swans. Good tackle. Cousins brought down. Ball up. Segler wins the bounce. Oh, he's got back to it. Has he gotten it away? Ah, really, really good mark there by Callum Mills. Sydney just spraying it around their defence. They don't have a worry in the world. Again, Luke Parker now. That's not good, putting into the forward 50, doing that. Wingard nearly got to it. Night, oh, I was going to say nice interception, but look at this, man. They're just dominating us. There's not much we can do about it. Swans. That's got to be another goal there. Oliver Florent is just dominating us here today. Segler wins it, but it falls to another Sydney player. They just keep on picking up these loose balls. Oh, my God. Josh Kennedy's absolutely banged that one in as well. I'm sick of this. Swans again every time they go forward. Well, really, actually, really good mark there by Hart. Oh, hang on. O'Brien going back to the wing now. It's terrible. Like, we want to do some high octane football. Here we go. Go. That's a little bit more. Fr f <laughs> That's a little bit more free flowing. But it's Sean Burgoyne to score probably. The furthest goal of this series. Good handball. A lot of space there. Hits it. Hits it home as well. They're still not down and out for the count just yet. McAvoy goes to the wing. Luke Bruce with a really exceptional mark. He's had a really good episode here today. O'Brien can't get to it. Outmarked by Mills. And that's it. The full time whistle is blind. Ugh. We've been unfortunately defeated here today. Oh yeah, all right, buddy. Doing that against your doing that against the Hawks, your trader. Unfortunately, we've lost to 14th place Sydney by 10 points as well. Josh Kennedy picking up the man of the match. Yeah, he scored a couple of good goals. Played really, really well for the Swans. That's unfortunate. So with that defeat, we're still in second. We've got to face Port, who are in ninth, Collingwood lead, followed by the Demons. It's going to be a really interesting top eight this season. Port set in ninth, two wins from five. Five wins, four losses, and we face the power down in Tassie. Yeah, we're still only 82 rated. <laughs> Are we overperforming? Yeah. Have we got a lot of clutch quality players? Yeah. I still think we can make top five. I don't think it's unrealistic for this team. West off, really have to watch out for Tom Rockcliffe as well. Travis Boak. And they also have their newly signed player, Fantasia. And they also have... Oh, Allier, I think. As well. Nice dry day in Tassie. Thankfully, we didn't bring the weather with us. Tom Mitchell there. Being quite quiet. In episode two. 
First set shot for the Hawks down in Tassie. Needs to slot this one. Mitchell, Lewis, our full forward. I might have fluffed it up here. He's whipped it left. Not good enough for the Hawks. We really needed to start things off well down in Tassie. Port. Acres of space on the left-hand side. They're going to continue to go. Sicily. It's spilled. Hawks just trying to get it towards the forward line. Everyone just gets keeping ta taken down. But Chad Wingard facing his former side. Plays it quick to the top of the square. That's better. That's a lot better to find Mitchell Lewis. A really good... He's probably our best full forward, to be honest. Yeah, he misses that one. But it's a goal. Hawks start off with the first goal of the match. I feel like if we don't have a good second or first quarter, we just seem to get fatigued. We, so, we play so bad in the third and fourth. Good interception there. Chad Wingard wins it. Man, he's been playing so well for us. Had a really quiet first episode, but it's probably been the... Wingard and Luke Bruce show. Wingard, oh, what a specky as well, man! You got to be have you got to have so much confidence to do that against your side. I tried to play quick there, high tackle, unfortunately. Oh, that was so good with the specky, and I fluffed it up. Yeah, I just feel like if you want to play that quick handball passing expansive football, you might need to like turn down the speed of the game and maybe the distances because on Le on Hall of Fame and Legendary you just can't do it. Like you're better off taking your time and making sure you hit your mark. Hang on, Hawks here go through Warple. There's no one there, man. Who's Butters camping at the back of the square there? Spilled once again. Hawks go forward. Good, <laughs> good mark there by Harry. I tried to play it. No, I didn't kick it there, man. We lead against the power, but it's been a bit of a shambles this second half. <laughs> One of my worst performances for the Hawks. Can't get to the mark. The power. Go forward. Warple with a quick kick away. But it's going to be a boundary throw in. Jonathan Segler wins it to Mitchell Lewis. Straight into danger. How? And it's again another no opportunity brought down by Port. Hang on. Might be able to get to this one. That's a high tackle from Travis Boak. Jonathan Seglar brings it forward. O'Brien can't get to it. Hawks quickly have to snap it. And it's a goal. Sean Bergwin, the veteran clutches. Yeah, I kind of forget how many former Port players we have. Wingard. Just to name a few. Oh. Scrim Shaw sure. How has Luke Bruce got to that one? <laughs> Everyone overhit it Tim O'Brien Needs to kick this one <laughs> Very, very limited opportunities in this match against Port but hopefully we can edge it out down in Tassie. Scores his first of the match. Ball up. Hardwick. Port get to it. Bombs it to the top of the square, but I think it's going to be a goal. Yeah, it is as well. <sighs> That's a really good goal by Port. Port trying to get into their forward 50 in the fourth quarter. That's a push in the back from Justin Westoff. Mitchell trying to get it off quickly to O'Brien. Has been the dominant marking force in this match. Mitchell Lewis. Oh, and it's Wingard. He is having an absolute field day out there for the Hawks. Plays on from out of the back. Kicks a goal. Ball up. Segler wins it once again. 
Hawks trying to get it out quickly. It's a high tackle by Tom Mitchell, unfortunately. Spilled again. Port. Bomb it forward. Frost has to put in a good effort. And he does. Pushes. Shrugs him out the way. Cool, calm and collected. Tries to find Lewis. It gets spilt. Hawks hunting down the ball. Adelaide. It spills to Burgoyne. Warple. Good mark. Running <laughs> away from the ball as well. James Warple for one of his rare opportunities of the season. He hasn't kicked many, but Warple has risen to the occasion there and might have put Hawks with the win. Haw oh, come on. Frost quickly. That's good. Wa come on, man. I need to not handball. The AI just intercepts them so much, and they go and do that. I think it's too late for the power, though. That's it. I think. Yep, full-time whistle is blown. We've managed to beat Port Adelaide here today after a shaky start. But Chad Wingard came up clutch for us. He's definitely my, my man of the match, I would say. So who won it? 32-80. Yeah, Chad Wingard for sure, yeah. Jonathan Segler there picking up the second. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.